Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. Today, girl, today we are going to, we're going to talk about it, sis. We're going to talk about it. We are going to talk about unique cosmetics. I'm just going to preface this video by saying every single thing that is going to come out of my mouth in this video is just my opinion and should not be taken as fact. I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of the stories from the unique presenters and ex-presenters about this brand and I'm going to be forming some opinions and I'm going to be sharing some opinions. What you do with your cash, sis, is up to you. Just know that I will not be supporting this beauty brand. Now that that is out of the way, my loves, Unique Cosmetics is a multi-level marketing company that was formed in 2012. If you go to the Wikipedia page for Unique, it literally says in big bold letters, the company has received criticism for being a pyramid scheme. I mean, where, where else can you go with this? Where else can you go with this really? It is a predatory company involved around the recruitment of people who need money to survive. I mean, we all need money to survive, but you know what I mean? It really is that kind of thing where it's just like, they are preying on vulnerable people. Quite often these people are young mums, they are single mums, they are mums who need a little bit of money, they are women who need a little bit of money. Just people who are a little bit like struggling and they need that little bit of extra cash flow in their life in order to make ends meet. This is where the unique business model comes in and absolutely decimates these poor people. And I'm not here for it. I'm absolutely not here for it. All of the information that I'm going to be sharing in this video today is freely available on the internet. I am not adding to it. I'm just compiling it all together for this video for you to really get an idea of just what's going on, sis, what's going on. So sadly, someone in my life who is an acquaintance has, um, become involved with Unique Cosmetics. And when she told me this, I was like, don't do it, sis. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, I just would like to share with you to be very, very, very vigilant about companies that you are going to spend money with and be involved with in any way, shape or form. What is Unique, you ask me? Well, Unique is a collection of, um, cosmetics and I use that term very 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 loosely my loves very loosely it is a cosmetics retail company in which you purchase a starter kit from them in order to sell amongst your friends and family. Are you getting where this is going, sis? You buy from them to sell it on at a high markup. And sadly, it works. Sadly, it really works because this company has had a huge turnover in profit and it really revolves around predatory activity, preying on those who can't or perhaps even don't know better. So Unique's real success comes from its incredibly uh, dominant and quite relentless social media campaign. So it really requires their presence presenters who are the people who buy the makeup from them to do Instagram stories. It requires them to do tutorials. It requires them to make YouTube videos using the products that Unique releases to them that they have purchased from Unique. You can painfully see that a lot of these people that get involved with this makeup are desperate for a little bit of extra income. And it is really frustrating to see this company get away with it. This company get away with it, sadly. Really, really frustrating to see. So I'm going to read to you what their business model is. Now, this is on their Wikipedia page, so I'm not adding anything new to this. This is public knowledge that is already known. Shall we go through it? Let's go through it. Oh yes. Unique produces cosmetics which are marketed by its presenters who sign up via the website and purchase products they sell, earning a commission. New sellers must purchase a starter kit for $99 or £69 to begin with, which includes 17 of Unique's products. Unique sellers are required to continuously purchase products in order to maintain their status within their company. So let me just put a pin in that because that's really important. So Unique likes to advertise to these people who are a little bit desperate for money and a little bit uh, struggling to make ends meet. They market it as a way of being like, be your own boss, babe. Oh, uh, boss, babe works. I run my own makeup empire. When actually what's happening is this company is fleecing them for subpar quality products at a premium price and promising them incredible profits. And let me tell you, the majority of people who join companies like Unique do not make money to live. They do not make enough money to live. They make tiny, tiny, tiny commission. It's just not it, sis. It's not it. So then, of course, they end up in a position where they sunk thousands and thousands and thousands into this brand thinking, oh my God, it's going to answer my prayers. It's going to answer what I really need in this world to make money to thrive. And then they're just left with dead stock that makes no money, that's costing them money, and they are left in debt in a lot of cases. So the unique sellers are required to continuously purchase products to maintain their status with in their company, regardless of whether they are able to sell these products onward. So you get rewarded by 
scaling up the the corporate ladder, shall we say, by spending more money with Unique, you end up becoming a presenter and you get different levels of that, whether that's like gold star presenters, those sorts of things. But by that kind of stage, you've sunk in so much money that even if you aren't selling on your, your product, you are left with it, but you still feel the need to spend more money with Unique so that you can still keep your rank within the company, even though you're not making money by not selling product. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see? Like other multi-level marketing companies, Unique sellers are, are encouraged to recruit other people to become presenters. Thus, the pyramid scheme grows. Pyramid scheme, think of the shape, it is this. It is lots of people at the bottom spending lots of money going up and up and up and up into the pocket of the people at the top. Illuminati girls! It's, it's not, it's not, it's not it. It's, it's just awful. Just awful. The very fact that the first thing on their Wikipedia says is that they've received criticism for being a pyramid scheme. Of course, no one from this company is going to come forward and say, We're a pyramid scheme, of course we are, girl. Absolutely no one will. Absolutely no one will. I feel for people who are sucked in by the promise of being able to be your own boss and make your own money. You need to look elsewhere because doing it with cosmetics in this way is not it. Start your own brand. Start your own brand from zero if you have that much of a passion for it. But it's difficult, you know, I understand. Same boat, sis. Commissions begin at 20% and increase to 25% as sellers reach $1,000 in total sales. Further increases are only possible if they recruit others as sellers from whose sales they receive additional commission. So it's like up, 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 up. The more people you get into this mess, the more money you make, and then the more money the people above you make. Like, it's just incredible. The Guardian has described Unique's business practices alongside those of other MLMs as akin to pyramid schemes, reporting that many Unique presenters lost money in the process of selling for the company. Now that is indeed the problem, my love. That is indeed the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to hop over to Reddit and I'm going to share some of the stories with taking out any personal information that may also be shared about people who used to be presenters for Unique. I have personal history with these kind of companies because they would always come knocking to my mum when I was a child. And I remember in one case, my mum had actually like spent money with a certain brand, I'm not gonna mention who they are, and then realized that actually it was a waste of money. It was sunken cost, it was debt, it was not worth the money that she put into it. Luckily it wasn't a lot of money, but a lot of other families have spent so much money. In fact, there are other presenters that have said things like, oh, don't worry, we'll provide you with an invoice that lies about the money you've spent to your husbands or your fathers or your significant other in your life. It promotes the most worst aspects of greed and capitalism in that it requires you to lie to pull other people in in order to sell you an idea that you're just not going to get. Okay, so this user has stated, I just wanted to share a little story about the reasons why I left Unique and I want to point out their shady ways and practices. I was a Unique presenter for four months. I got sucked in because I was a mother of three young children working part time and also caring for my youngest daughter who is disabled and critically ill. This is the perfect demographic for Unique. They are predatory in the fact that they will lure you in with being like, oh, well, you can do whatever you want just at your own pace, you know, you can make a little bit if you need it or you can make a lot if you need it. The answer is you're not going to make anything because they literally suck you in to make money out of you. My direct upline picked at this, imagine being able to be at home and actually care for your daughter properly. You can be there for her in emergencies. How predatory does that sound? And this is not uh, uncommon, this kind of practice is rife with pyramid schemes and MLMs. So I signed up and the horror began. I pushed my friends away. Luckily, my family supported me. I was spending money to buy stock because fake it till you make it. Do you see the negative business practices? You can also just see the type of people that get sucked into this. They're not makeup experts. They don't have the, the critical eye for cosmetics or for the industry to really be able to thrive. They are in a way just victims of a corporate entity, bleeding them dry of the last little bits of money that they have that they need to survive in this world. And it is not on, sis, it is not on. And I was told that I would probably have to spend money first to make it in the long run. Doesn't sound right, does it? No. If you are going for a job interview and they say, oh, you have to pay us money now. For, for us to employ you, you, ha we have to, you have to pay us. Pay me now, yes, now. I mean, obviously in the case of like freelance stuff, that's a little bit different. But you know, if you go to a big corporate entity and they're offering you a job and they say, but you've got to pay a thousand pounds up front for 
something. No, that's not correct. Absolutely not. The same goes for modeling and the same goes for television. If somebody is not paying for your headshots and somebody is not paying for your studio time, then they are going to be extracting money from you. If something costs you money to join, you are the product. Oh, it drives me loopy. I hate it. So I did. Obviously, I was still responsible with bills and food, etc., but I ended up spending every penny of my disposable income. It soon became clear that the upline was earning a hell of a lot more money than I was. I was pressured into sending group messages that I wasn't comfortable doing. I was told that if I'm not selling much, I'm not working hard enough. Bear in mind, this is a mother of three with a critically ill child and also has a part-time job elsewhere, being told by someone who's extracting money from her that you are not working hard enough. It's sick. It's sick. Suddenly, they didn't care about my disabled daughter's well-being because they wanted me to focus everything in Unique. When I considered dropping from Unique, my upline turned into a mean cow and began berating me, telling me I was choosing to fail and that I needed to get a team. I didn't want to harass my friends or neighbours into getting a team. That's not what I'm all about. Luckily, I'm one of the few ones who is actually good at doing makeup and made the makeup work well. So I did get a few sales here and there, but nothing close to what I could survive from. The admin team then blocked my account and punished me because another presenter, read competitor, didn't like how well I was doing, so she faked information and claimed I was breaking the rules. This is when I gave up. They don't care about their team, they care about your money. The products are cheap, crap and not worth the money. The pigment is terrible, the all over quality of the products is terrible, and the way they brainwash vulnerable people is disgusting. The best thing I've ever done was walk away from that, and I'm still stuck with a pile of stock that I can't sell. This is where the problem of it starts, is that as she said in the last paragraph there, they literally entice vulnerable people in, into making a sizable purchase to, in the hopes of like making enough money to survive off and being able to be their own boss and do their own work from home kind of thing. I mean, it's kind of like everybody's dream really, isn't it? To be your own boss, to be able to manage your own money, to be able to manage your own time. You don't have to have an alarm. You can just sell this makeup and people will buy it. That's not it, sis. That's not how easy it is. That's why massive companies have huge marketing outgoing because it's actually quite difficult to make a product, get it to market and sell it in a way that creates income for everyone, everyone involved in that process. It's actually really difficult. And MLMs come in with this promise of that anyone can do it. You can do it if you want to. All you've got to do is work hard enough. Regardless of your home life, regardless if you've got other jobs, regardless if you have responsibilities for children or any other needy person or vulnerable person in your life, it's predatory. So if you have anyone in your life that's like considering joining an MLM business like this or something similar, I'm sure you all know about really, most of us know about them. Just make sure that the vulnerable people in your life are not sucked in by them and really 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 try really try to help them out because it's not it's not fun it's not fun a lot of them don't have the come to the light realization carolan they don't um, a lot of the people don't have that realization and that's why these companies are still doing really well so there is a phenomenon that we experience as humans called sunken cost fallacy which is where you put a lot of time or a lot of resources into something so we can class that as time where in regards to a relationship we can cast that as money to a business decision like this one or we can class it as effort maybe you put a lot of effort into something and it's just not fruiting the way you expected but you're still going to spend effort on it like that is where these companies really like get their claws in it's where they suggest things like you're not making money because you're not working hard enough you haven't bought enough stock to sell you haven't like connected enough you haven't demonstrated the products correctly you haven't done this you haven't done that you haven't done this you haven't done that and the, the problem actually is the whole nature of the whole thing actually it's with the nature of the whole demon this demon needs to be put into a box and left there to rot so people will often join these companies spend a lot of money getting their like first sales in maybe a couple of their friends do buy you know one or two pieces realize that the quality is astronomically poor compared to what they can get at the drugstore. And then they say, oh, I'm not going to purchase like from you again. You're put in a position as a presenter to be like, oh, please purchase from me. Please join my team. Please do this. And then you have become part of the beast that is the problem. You are then harassing your friends to spend money on your products. You are then harassing your friends and neighbors to also become part of your team to make money at home. Boss babe, hashtag put it on a t-shirt. Whereas that's actually not happening. You end up isolated, driven away from everyone that loves you because you have become a part of the problem. And it is sickening to me that this works on vulnerable people because vulnerable people are the ones that need the most help 
in society and you will not get it through companies like Unique Cosmetics, my loves. Interestingly enough, Unique was actually co-purchased from the creators back in 2017. So Coty are the people that make Airspun. Now Airspun is an amazing powder. And in fact, they actually probably do a lot more other products. I just, I'm not familiar with them obviously being in the UK. We don't have access to a lot of Coty products as far as I'm aware. By all means, correct me in the comments if you happen to know of other beauty products by Coty in the UK. Oh, yes. Unique's revenues and profits declined year over year, and in 2009, with Coty attributing the weakness to decreasing hype, a complex business structure, increased consumer awareness of the risks of participating in an MLM scheme, and Facebook's algorithm changes, Coty announced that it was cutting ties with Unique in August 2019. I would be fascinated to hear from you guys if any of you have known anybody who's worked with any of these kind of brands, specifically unique for this kind of a video, but it kind of works with any of them. Let me know your stories if you've interacted with them or if you've had like a really good friend of yours just become one of these people. Leave your stories in the comments box below because I think it is really important to increase awareness, especially of, as like the consumer needs to understand where their makeup is coming from, the quality of makeup that you can have, and also don't get involved with shady business practices. Ugh, 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 vomit now. Today's Instagram shout out goes to s.eel. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram, you stunning woman on the go. <gasps> business. And once again, a massive thank you to my patrons. You can see yourselves on the screen right here, my lovelies. And a massive shout out to my top tier Patreons and channel members, Stephanie Niatupski, Morigany Wolf, Erin Conkle, Caitlin Wright, Steph Utech, Megan Holly, Dana Broderick, Orko Samoji, and the Moldy Apple. Oh, thank you guys so much for your continued support. You are really ensuring that this channel thrives and survives, girls. If you want to be a part of the Patreon or the channel membership, please check out the links in the description box below. You'll find everything you need to know there. Oh yes, you will. And with that, my loves, make sure, make sure you're very aware of who you're spending your money with because Unique Cosmetics is not going to be getting a single penny from me. And that's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. I'll see you in the next video, gorgeous.